Mitochondria are the powerhouses in our cells. They generate most of our energy in the form of ATP through a process called oxidative phosphorylation. We need energy to do everything. So yes, these little organelles are extremely important. Many things can cause our mitochondria to not function properly. And generally as we age, we have a natural decline in mitochondrial function. I'm here today to talk about a nutrient and a supplement that is showing some amazing results in human trials that you have not heard about. This research has me very excited, so let's get to it. Chris here, registered nurse, certified clinical nurse leader with my focus being research. I'm going to talk about this amazing metabolite right now, but be sure to stick around to the end so you can get the complete list of foods that contain the necessary ingredients for your own body to make this amazing compound. Or just take the supplement. I will do both. What am I talking about? Urolithin A. Urolithin A is a gut microbiome derived postbiotic metabolite of elegotannins, a polyphenolic compound present in some foods. When I say gut microbiome derived, that means it is produced by our gut bacteria. The gut makes this compound from what we eat, elegotannins. Our gut then uses the elegotannins to make elagic acid, which is then turned into urolithin. Urolithins are a natural metabolite shown to stimulate mitophagy. Mitophagy is a mechanism in the body that targets damaged or unnecessary mitochondria and eliminates them. It is a quality control process. As we age or experience disease, there is a decline in the cell's capacity to remove dysfunctional cellular elements, and in the case of mitochondrial dysfunction, a decrease in mitophagy. So we have all these mitochondria, which are supposed to be creating energy for us, not doing their job. What does age-related mitochondrial dysfunction look like? Because we do not create energy efficiently, we lose muscle mass, we have coordination problems, we have muscle weakness, our eyesight deteriorates, and our hearing becomes impaired just to name a few. Now you might say, well that just sounds like what it's like to get old. Well, this is something I want you to think about. Maybe aging and getting old doesn't have to be like that. Maybe we can better retain our strength and vision and promote better health as we get older. And this is what excites me. The research is showing just that. If you like what you heard so far, drop me a like and subscribe to trigger the YouTube algorithm. That way this information can get out to more people. Okay, let's talk about the research. With most research, it starts with animals. In animal trials, urolithin A demonstrated something interesting, improved muscle health in old animals. Not going to go into much more detail than that, just know previous animal trials showed some exciting results. A first in human trial administering the investigational product urolithin A, either as a single dose or as a multiple doses over four weeks, to healthy, sedentary, elderly individuals that were observed positive effects on mitochondrial biomarkers that show urolithin A induces a molecular signature of improved mitochondrial and cellular health. Okay, so we have some positive biomarker signals. That's good. Another trial published in the Journal of the American Medical Association looked at the effect of urolithin A in supplementation and its relationship to skeletal muscle performance and mitochondrial health in older adults. It was a randomized clinical trial with 66 adults who received 1,000 milligrams of urolithin A over four months. The adults were 65 to 90 years old. Those that received the supplementation had significant improvement in muscle endurance calculated as the number of muscle contractions until fatigue for both hand and leg skeletal muscles compared to those that received the placebo. The findings demonstrated urolithin A is safe, well tolerated, and is also beneficial for muscle endurance and mitochondrial health. The study also suggested it might be a beneficial approach to counteract age-related associated muscle decline. Uh, that's what we want to see. In another study titled ATLAS, a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled protocol, 80 subjects were enrolled. Participants were screened, which included vital signs, anthropometrics, and a history and physical. The average age was 51 in group A. They received 500 milligrams of the study drug, and 54 years old in group B, they received 1,000 milligrams. The groups were well balanced. The goal in the study was to explore the long-term impact of oral supplementation at different dosages, as well as explore the efficacy at different doses. The study reported similar results to previous studies, but one striking result was the impact on leg muscle strength. The researchers observed significantly improved lower body muscle strength in the hamstring skeletal muscles at both doses. This is huge. Healthy aging correlates with our ability to remain ambulatory, to walk. The relationship between walking ability and leg muscle strength has a direct relationship. The stronger our leg muscles, the better we can walk. 
The higher the dose level showed clinically meaningful improvements for two measures, the six minute walk test and aerobic endurance, peak VO2. For the six minute walk test, the 1000 milligram group increased their walking distance by greater than 30 meters. These improvements came in the absence of any outside exercise. It was just a baseline reading for everyone with no drug, then three groups, 500 milligrams, 1,000 milligrams, and placebo, and after four weeks, and these results, pretty darn amazing. There are several ongoing trials now. Urolithin A is being studied in many different patient populations. The benefits of this compound have been seen in cardiac and neurodegenerative disorders, osteoarthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, and acute kidney injury. The results of these trials are all coming back with similar highlights. One, oral supplementation with urolithin A increases muscle strength. Two, a high dose of urolithin A positively impacts exercise performance measures. Three, an increase in mitophagy proteins in human skeletal muscle is observed in parallel. And four, supplementation is safe and increases circulating levels of urolithin A. Now let's talk about how we can get urolithin A the good old fashioned way, by what we eat. As I mentioned early on, we need to give our body the ingredients it needs to make the metabolite urolithin A. Specifically, we need to give our gut bacteria the stuff. The foods I'm going to discuss are sources of elegotannins, which are bioactive polyphenols present in foods. I've talked about polyphenols before in a few other videos. They serve many functions, but most notable is their antioxidant properties. Elegotannins are hydrolyzed in the gut to release elagic acid, which is then further processed by our gut bacteria to make urolithin. So that's how our body does it. So what are the best sources of elegotannins and elagic acid? The figures I'm going to give you are milligrams per 100 grams, fresh weight, and are also dependent on your microbiome. We all have different gut flora, some better than others. If you want to improve your gut health, be sure to check out my video on nature's perfect fruit biotic and the best probiotic foods to consume. First, let's start with fruits. Yellow raspberries, if you can get those, get them, 1900 milligrams. Pomegranate, 269.9. Raspberries, 270. Cloudberries, 315.1. What the heck are cloudberries? They sound lovely. Blackberries 150, rosehip 109.6, strawberries 77.6, and black raspberries 90. Nuts also have elegotannins. Pecans have a total of 33 and walnuts 59. Juices are also a good source, pomegranate juice, killing it at 811.1. The other three juices are not juices actually, they're alcohols. Not going to mention those because I think the negatives outweigh the positives in that case. I hope you're excited as I am. I just ordered the supplement. After a month or so, I'll put out another video and share my experience. If you take this supplement, comment down below. Let me know how it works for you. I always picture myself aging gracefully. This could be part of the secret formula to actually do it. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you like hearing about stuff like this. Nurse Chris out.